Hello friends, welcome back. I'm going to talk about one of the recent cyber threats that is surrounding all of us. That too, in the name of CBI, in the name of court, in the name of law, everything. So you have to be really careful when you get called from anonymous numbers and if they ask you for details that you should not share. Recently, second of this month, one of my very close friends, he got a call from one of the numbers and they asked him to stay online. They took PAN number of him and then they started routing the call from one person to another person and it ended up with somebody by name, say X from Delhi. And that guy started asking PAN details, other details, all those things. And finally, he told that my friend, whomever I'm speaking about, has committed a crime which involved monetary benefit of 38 crores into his account and for that he is going to be arrested and if that has to be avoided he has to pay them 25,000 rupees immediately and all these conversations happened over a whatsapp call they did not allow him to cut the call they did not allow him to speak to anybody they just kept him connected and they just kept pressurizing him for getting the money transferred at the earliest the call went prolonged for about an hour and above and then I got to know this and I helped them out in coming out of this. So now what happened here is very simple. They started even asking his bank account details. They wanted to share the screen and show what's his bank account balance and they wanted 25,000 to be transferred immediately. You can see the screenshots that I'm providing you here in the courts of Judicial Magistrate of First Class of Delhi. They got an arrest warrant which is fake. His name was included there. After they got to know the PAN details and full name of this person over the con call, they edited this and they sent this. And this is edited real time and they sent this uh, guy whom I'm talking about and they threatened him. And they also have sent more of this kind of stuff. You can see this here. This is an RBA form. Application for payment from New Delhi Notary Public Office Fund Legislation, New Delhi. So they have created this also fake. This is a fake one. And most importantly, accept your letter from the courts of judicial magistrates of first class Delhi. This is again fake. The name of the person whom I'm talking about is included. After calling him, after taking his PAN details, they have included this and they started threatening him. Most importantly, confidentiality agreement in the name of Central Bureau of Investigation, CBA, is also given. This is all fake. So please understand whenever you get a call like this, which demands you with a lot of details of yours, please don't give. And no CBA officer or no magistrate will send you legal letters like this in WhatsApp. This is all circulated in WhatsApp. Nothing will come through WhatsApp. They also shared a fake ID card of some CBA officer and they said that this is my name. And the moment we saw that, we could understand that it is fake. So what next? You have to be careful. When you get a call like this saying that uh, there is a package that is available in your name in the airport in the customs, which is actually having some illegal items, we need to talk to you, cut the call. It's not for you. You do not involve yourself in all these things, right? Why do you bother? And if they say that uh, there is a money laundering of 35 crores, 40 crores into your account, you must have got the credit note, right? The bank would automatically call you. So you do not have to really bother. Don't worry. Don't respond. If you respond, if you sit with them, that's all you are getting caught. So please be very, very conscious. And what next to be done in case you have lost your money or in case you are getting into a situation like this, how do you report it? That's most important. Government of India has taken beautiful initiative through National Cyber Crime Reporting Portal, cybercrime.gov.in. You can get in there and a lot of details are available there. You can really make a lot of learning through this portal and you can file a complaint. A register a complaint is available here. Women, children related crime, financial fraud, other cyber crime, everything is available and it's very easy to access and to understand. So please understand this portal is easy to access and you can also become cyber volunteer. You can become a cyber volunteer and you can contribute to the growth of the country this way. So try it out and these kind of fake calls, right, that's going to kill our peace of mind. So please do not attempt these kind of calls. Most importantly, please do not give your data like your PAN card or other card or any of the details, please don't give. You do not have to open your bank account in front of them and show them what you have in your bank. If bank has a question, they will call you right away. RBI will not reach you through WhatsApp. CBA will not reach you through WhatsApp. Police department will not reach you through WhatsApp. Honorable Judiciary Department will not reach you through WhatsApp. And if you get all these things in WhatsApp, that itself tells you that you have been cheated. You are at, you are being attracted towards a process where you could be cheated. Please be careful. And if you have any queries, please go through this portal. This portal has got enormous amount of resources. You can see this here. They have got cyber safety tips, cyber awareness, 
there are lot of training resources available and all these are going to be very very useful for you so without fail please have a visit and all this kind of cbe related rbi related judiciary related things will not ever come in whatsapp they will know how to send it they will send it through proper medium and if you tell them that no i will go to police station and i will take your call from there these guys will cut the call that's what has happened when we told that we are going to go to nearby police station we will call you from there they said that you will be arrested we said that's okay we will talk to the police station the moment we said that they cut the call and they have also deleted all the messages that they have sent to whatsapp fortunately we could back up all those things and we have raised a official complaint through the person so please be careful this is something that you need to know thank you very much and if you have any questions on this there are people who can help you as well volunteers can help you as well that's going to be real good thing for you let's be strong let's avoid all this kind of cyber attacks thank you